Because yesterday there was a big scandal, you there know, about the, the, the lice, lice are, are back, they're out there. Yeah, lice outbreak. In my, so here, let me tell you how it goes. So um, my daughter has a, a play date, and, um, and thank God, thank God for the mother who called me two days later and said, I don't know how to tell you this, but my daughter has lice. And I said, you know, it's like a painful conversation to hear, but it is, you're like, thank God, because how would I know? Yeah. I, it wouldn't, no, you wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't think to check until it's too right. late, right? So I say, okay, they only played together for a few hours, <laughs> and maybe I won't find anything. So I sit her down, and I say, come sit down here. I want to check your head. She's like, for what? For lice? Why? I don't itch. And I'm like, no, no, no. I just want to just double check because, you know, it's going around and I just want to take a peek. So I, so I literally, I know how to do this. I'm a mother. A lot of moms learn how to do <clears> this. <throat> you section the hair piece by piece. And what you're looking for, and when I say a needle in a haystack, is a needle in a haystack. <laughs> because you're looking for, right away you don't see any, you don't see the lice, but you're looking for the nits because they develop into lice. What do they look like? It looks like a needle in a haystack. <laughs> it, looks, it kind of looks like a, it looks like, uh, my daughter has lice colored hair, which is interesting. Um, it, what, what, what color is that? It's like, it's like this non-specific brownish uh -huh. color. Um, so so the nits are little, little, little things. tiny, and it kind of looks like a split end, if yeah. I could kind of put it into a context for you. You're looking for what appears to be a split end. Split end. Section the hair section it piece by piece and I'm getting through the entire head all right let's not make it look frightening <laughs> that's been magnified eight trillion times I, I'm, so, is it there in front of us so I'm, I'm going to hair by hair hair by hair nothing I'm like oh my gosh this is such hair great. by hair on, hair on the kids head. literally hair by hair I'm not kidding it's taking me and I get down to like the last tiny hair back nape of the neck tiny and I go a knit. She sees and a I, knit. And I literally, and my daughter's like, ow, ow. And I'm like, turn your head into the light. Turn into the light. It is a knit. It is a knit. And I told I you like, to be a knit. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why? Why? So then I have uh, my, my girlfriend and her daughters are staying with us from London. And she was very funny. She said, uh, she said you know, I checked the girls um, I checked the girls for lice before we came over here because I didn't, I didn't want to take, take the chance that they had lice and we'd bring them over here. And her husband goes, with his funny British accent, he goes, yeah, why well, bring them over here when you can get them right here in the United States? <laughs> Whoa! So we, we look through the girls' heads and of course there's nits in the girls' head. Curiously enough, no nits in the boys' heads because my boys never wash their hair. And nits, are, lice are very fussy. So they it doesn't like, pay to wash your they hair. Like, they like clean heads of hair. They no like kidding. clean heads of hair. Yeah. And so, you know, and no louse could cling to my son's head to save his life. Isn't that strange how those things, they don't fly. How, how do they, they get how into do they your get hair? There? How do they? The good news is I got to throw away every stuffed animal, <laughs> because, which I've been dying to do for because, ten years. Because they're full they, of nits. They, they say you have to get rid of all of that stuff. The nits go to the animals too. I don't know, but I nits listen. are everywhere. <laughs> they actually say they actually say they actually say you can put the the stuffed animals inside a plastic bag and tie it for 48 hours, and if there's nits on them, they will die. But I told my kids they have to be thrown away. <laughs> I can't get over. Well, yeah. so anyway. So anyway, I'm, I had lice senders come out and treat the kids for head lice, and it was such an experience. So anyway. So anyway, I'm, I had lice senders come out and treat the kids for head lice, and it was such an experience. And then the worst part came when she said, okay, mama, she called me mama, this great lady named Esther. Okay, mama, it's your turn. I'm like, it's my turn for what? She goes, I have to check you. Well, of course you do. Right. And? Clean as a Are you nit free? No, but she was so funny. She was talking about how my hair was chemically treated and sometimes they don't like that. And I was like, well, whatever do you mean? <laughs> I'm showing you not a chemical has touched this head of hair. <laughs> and then she's, as she's looking, she goes, I'm shocked at the amount of gray you have. I was like, all right, enough with the comments.
secretary. <laughs> yeah, who does she think she is? She do said, I, do I have mitts or not? <laughs> That's all you wanted to know. But it's like, until you get down to that last hair, you're just holding your breath the whole time. But you know, as soon as you hear the words lice or knits, don't you, look, you're itching. You're scratching already. <laughs> you get itchy. You immediately get itchy. Yeah. So that was my exciting... Well, that's quite a night you had. <laughs> so anyway... So anyway, I'm, I'm I had Lysenders come out and treat the kids for head lice. And it was such an experience.